This is Dinner Date, the show where people hope to find true love through their love of good food. Will it be the most fun I've ever had with my clothes on? We'll see. One lucky person will be getting the chance to find romance as they enjoy three very special meals cooked for them by three very special blind dates. I'm interested to see what I've got waiting for me behind that door. Today's dinner date is 30-year-old recruitment consultant Joe, who's not worried about jumping in at the deep end. I would describe myself as an easygoing kind of guy. I don't take myself too seriously. I like to think that I can be the person to have a laugh with and have a pint with at the end of the day. So laid-back Joe likes to go with the flow, but what type of girl is he looking to take the plunge with? I think I'm looking now for the right person, so someone that I can have a spoon on the sofa with while watching whatever's on TV. I'd like to think that I would have a celebrity like Zoe Deschanel or Mila Kunis, but I always punch above my weight. Joe likes a knockout for a date, but what does he like on his plate? I've got a sweet tooth, so whether it's chocolate, sweets, ice cream, you name it. When it comes to a main meal, I like Mexican, I'll like Chinese, I'll have Italian, whatever's put in front of me, I'll eat it. Let's see if he's as flexible when it comes to the ladies. Joe's going to be given five menus, each put together by a potential blind date. The five ladies behind the menus have all come up with a three-course meal, but Joe will only be having dinner with three of them. He'll choose his dates based on the menus he most likes the look of. So, who are the ladies behind the menus? Let's have a look at menu number one. I can definitely be more high class and be elegant, but then I can also get down and dirty in a grimy bar. <laughs> I can do both. Menu one comes from 27-year-old events coordinator Annie. She's opening with a shellfish starter, Middle Eastern meatballs for Maine and cheesecake closes for dessert. But will Joe find the night behind this menu eventful? Oi, oi, try my oysters with Mary Rose sauce and a spicy blusher Bloody Mary shot. Bold move for a starter. That's someone who's not afraid to, to start with a bang anyway. Lusciously lippy lamb koftas with batata hara potatoes and a fabulous fatouche salad. I've not had that before. You'll be made up with my white chocolate cheesecake and rouging rose petals. That's what I'd, I'd like to have for a dessert, um, so you can't go wrong there. There seems to be a theme of, of either a makeup artist or a clown. And menu number two. In my culture, we are very direct. If I don't like something, I'm not going to be able to hide it with a smile. 29-year-old half-Russian, half-Latvian food blogger Alla is behind menu two. She's knocking up a vegetable stack to start, steak for the main and a trio of Latvian-inspired puds for dessert. But will this menu be enough to get their relationship trending? The winner stakes it all. Every single thing on there is ticking all of the boxes, maybe apart from the, the cheesy music. Dream a little dream of three. Chocolate peanut butter fondant, raspberry mousse, and a Latvian Napoleon cake. Um, so I'm guessing they're Latvian. Everything's good on there, apart from peanut butter. Um, peanut butter makes me feel sick. And menu number three. I don't want to date someone who comes in a date wearing flip-flops, unless the date is on a beach. Menu three comes from 28-year-old fashion journalism student Mimi. She's offering up pork dumplings to start, an exotic cheeseburger for Maine and a chocolate pud to finish. But will Joe be head over heels for this menu? This could be somebody from Nepal, somebody who's travelled there, but that dumpling stuff with pork mint sounds amazing. The most bun you've ever had with your clothes on. Homemade burger with grilled paneer cheese. Will it be the most bun I've ever had with my clothes on? We'll see. And then you're four. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm not really much of an exerciser, um, but if I have to, then it's between dancing and hula hooping. <laughs> The fourth menu comes from 30-year-old film business consultant Colette. Her world fusion menu starts with fruity meatballs, seafood pasta main and banoffee pie for put. But will Joe be jumping through hoops for this menu? Um, 
think they might have been sarcastic when they said this is really appealing. Banana chicken balls, is that something people have? Creamy Tuscan shrimp pasta with homemade linguine. It's probably not the first thing I'd pick on a menu in a restaurant, but homemade linguine, they're putting a bit of effort in. And menu five. I'm single because of, uh, I'm addicted to beauty. I always pick very handsome guys, and they're not always uh, great inside, you know? <laughs> the fifth and final menu comes from Natalia, a 27-year-old art business student. Her Russian banquet begins with a posh poached egg. There's fish with a boozy foam for main and pancakes for dessert. But will this menu be Putin Joe in the mood for love? To get you in the spirit, try my grilled tuna steak. I think this is somebody who might be quite posh and, and into their fine dining, which I'm probably a bit more straightforward than that. You'll be rushing back for my blinis with condensed milk and strawberries. Feels like it could be a Russian dinner lady from the 70s. Joe has seen all five menus on offer, but which three have taken his fancy? I'm going to go with menu one, menu two, and yeah, menu three, it's got to be. Joe has chosen menu one from Annie, menu two from Alla, and menu three from Mimi. Over the next three nights, Joe will meet each of the ladies behind the menus he's chosen. They'll all be making him a slap-up three-course meal, but who will he want to see for seconds at the end of the week? First to cook for Joe is 27-year-old events coordinator Annie. When you first meet me, I come across as nice and a bit quiet, but actually I'm the complete opposite. I'm weird and annoying and loud and leery. Maybe stick to the first bit later. So what type of guy would make this event a hit? My perfect man would be really tall, kind of muscly, nice teeth, and they have to make me laugh. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. You've got the eyebrows yeah. and I have the mouth, so... Yeah. We're going to have a great party. It's creepy party. now, yeah. This is the sort of party I want to be at. <laughs> ah, just as the facial foreplay was in full swing, the dinner's over and the date is too. Lovely to meet you. Well, it was nice to meet you too. Me too. Thanks, cheers. Hi. So what did Joe make of his first dinner date? I had a good time and I had some good conversation there. She's spent a long time cooking the food and it's very much appreciated, but I don't know if there was that connection. Food-wise, I think I couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> he was really nice throughout the whole day and really friendly. Everything he said was making me laugh, which is good. I don't think there was a spark. Joe will be the one who decides which of his dates to take out at the end of the week, but which of them will want to go out with him. All three dates will be scoring him out of a possible three stars. So how will Annie rate her date? I don't know if anything romantic could come of it, so for that reason, I'm going to give him one and a half stars. <laughs> That's one and a half stars for Joe from Annie. She didn't feel a spark, and Joe's not about to propose, so it's back to the sofa for Annie to eat more of her sorrows. Another day, another dinner date, and this time it's the turn of food blogger Alla. I would describe myself as very loyal. Uh, confident, funny, kind. How many do I get? <laughs> Just Joe tonight. So Alla ticks lots of her own boxes, but what qualities in a man are on her checklist? Good sense of humour, somebody who is kind, um, ambitious and confident. So not any old Joe blogs, then. When he saw Alla's menu, Joe said he liked everything apart from the peanut butter in the dessert. He guessed Alla was Latvian, but will Joe score tonight or end up with nil point and an early cab home? First up for Alla, it's the raspberry mousse for her trio of puds. Raspberries are cooked with lemon juice and sugar. It has to be sweet and delicious and very fruity as well. Are we still talking about the puree? While her raspberries get juicy on the heat, she cuts out puff pastry circles for her Latvian Napoleon cake and brushes with butter. I just think it adds more flavour. It's going to be very smooth and, and buttery. D delicious, seductive dessert, you know? <laughs> well, that's one way to butter him up. She then sprinkles with sugar and pops on a tray. <laughs> and we're adding more weight so they don't lift up.
extra puree, raspberries and whipped cream. Then they're left to chill. Time to get those pastries out of the oven. Oh, it's good, so it's perfect. Hot, perchance? <laughs> it's a bit hot. <laughs> it's going to need to cool down. Good idea. It's so hot in here. In the meantime, Alice slices up strawberries and then gets building her Latvian Napoleon cakes with cream and the cool-down pastries. And is she feeling chilled about the date? This is my first blind date ever. That's why I'm a bit nervous. I'm not sure what to expect tonight. <laughs> Strawberries and cream. I mean, you can't get any more romantic than this, I don't think. Let's hope Cupid strikes before Joe tries her peanut butter fondant. Chocolate and butter are melted together before adding to whisked eggs and sugar. She spoons the mixture into ramekins, adds peanut butter and tops with the rest of the chocolate. And in the fridge it goes. The whole fridge is full of desserts. <laughs> Sweet! But better get on with the rest. It'll be here soon. Next up, her Tower of Love starter. Alice starts by slicing aubergine and tomatoes. A way to a man's heart is through zeli. That's what we say in Latvia. Good job she's a food blogger and not a surgeon. So uh, you have to make sure your man is well fed. Well, don't give it to the dog then. If anything falls on the floor, my dog basically eats it. <laughs> it's like a hoover. <laughs> Alice then cooks her veg in a pan. So aubergines are done. I'm just going to leave them to cool down. And whilst they do that, she preps her main by hand-cutting potatoes and then fries with onions. She then preps her steak with a glug of olive oil, seasons... ..and after a quick rub, it's left to marinade until later. Alla then makes the garlic butter for the steak, to which she adds parsley and rolls into a shape. Oh! <laughs> that became really small. <laughs> I'm sure it'll spread nicely later. It's then popped into the freezer. Now back to the starter and its fancy name. The Tower of Love, because when you eat it, it's going to be really tasty and you're going to fall in love with me. No, I'm joking. Alice's layered vegetables are topped with cheese and popped into the oven and, phew, prep complete. All I need to do now is go set the table and get ready for my date. Don't dilly-dally. Joe's on way and he's buzzing. I'm feeling optimistic. I'm not as nervous as I was last night. Somebody who's cooking steak, I'm sure I'm going to get on with them. I've got amazing food. Hopefully we'll have lots to chat about. Can't wait for him to get here. Hello, right? Hello. How's it going? Hi, Joe. I'm Alan. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. Joe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. To kick off, a cocktail, but looks like Joe's already got his hands full. <laughs> Oh, he's got my hands. Brilliant. Stop it. <laughs> this means he likes me, right? This is the... Yeah. He also likes eating off the floor. Trust me, like, yeah. half an hour, he'd be, like, he'll falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, snoring away. Yeah. He's not going to be up on a table having starts. No, no. no. <laughs> By the way, he'll suck apart, so... Oh, OK. Yeah, right. so if, if so it I can blame the dog. Up, honey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How romantic. So what do you do for work? What's... What um, do? I'm, like, a social influencer slash food blogger. What about you? I actually work in recruitment for marketing. Oh, no So, way. yeah. So, are you from England? Are yeah, you? so I'm not too far from here, actually. So, where else yourself? Uh, I'm from Latvia originally. Latvia. Yeah. But I've been here for, like, 15 years now, so... So, go make yourself comfortable. Yeah. I'm going to get the starter ready. Lovely, thanks. As Alla goes to warm up her towers of love, are any romantic feelings building between these two? Alla's a really good-looking girl. Um, she's really friendly, easy to talk to. The dog is amazing as well. Yeah, I think he's nice. I like the, the little stubble and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I quite like him. We'll just see if the chemistry's there further on, but so far it's looking good, yeah. <laughs> the date's off to a flyer. Hopefully it's full of romance and flirting. Oh, wow, looks lovely. Yeah. Fingers crossed Alla can control Milo's bottom from burping. Today's dinner date, recruitment consultant Joe is going for three blind dates and each date is making him dinner. He's already dined with events coordinator Annie. You look like you're about to throw up. And now he's just arrived for his date with food blogger Alla. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Her aubergine and tomato stack starter is removed from the oven. She dresses with rocket leaves and balsamic and her towers of love are ready. Oh wow, looks lovely. Here you go. Thank you. Cheers again. Yeah, cheers. In Latvia, we cheers a lot. Do, is there like a word for cheers or is it just cheers? Uh, yeah, you say 
Prijaka. 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 <laughs> this is my favourite starter. Mm. Oh, it is really nice. I do like it. It's good. What, what inspired the menu? I love travelling. For me, it's all about food and travelling, if I can just do that. Um, um, where's, where's the best place you've been? Um, well, actually, I took two months off in um, kind of December till February. I went to India, Sri Lanka, oh, wow. Thailand, and then Cape Town. <laughs> I've just come back from holiday. Mm. And I'd, I'd like to think that I've, I've been well travelled and I've been to all these different amazing places in the world. Oh, anywhere exotic? My last holiday was a weekend away in Benidorm. Oh. <laughs> what made you go there? It was, a, it was a brother's friend's stag do. Oh, wow. So it's one of those places where it's just a bit wild, yeah. So that's why I've got this tan that's this amazing tan, obviously. <laughs> mm. Shall I get the mains ready? That'd be lovely. You yes, ready please. for your yeah, steak? I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe's demolished Alice's Tower of Love, and up next, it's the course he's been looking forward to. Ribeye steak with crispy potatoes is served with an unadvertised accompaniment of a fried egg. Cheeky. This is, this is it. This is what I'm after. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy. Oh, I think I will, yeah. This, I've been waiting for this all day. <laughs> I'm very curious to know what you think about lamb and potatoes. Onions, potato. Yeah, secret ingredients. What is that? It's, it's really nice. Joking. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the... No, it's just, I, I was just joking. All right. <laughs> Secret ingredient is like, my anything. love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put love like, and effort like, into it. Yeah, 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 my effort into it. Yeah. Game on, talking of which. <laughs> do you do any sports? <laughs> no, I, I recently joined a gym, but I've not had the... Have you not gone? <laughs> no, I've been to the gym, but I've not had the courage to, to use the machines or anything like that. Yeah, so well... So I've just been in the pool, just pretending that I know what I'm doing. Mm. <laughs> I've got a real, like, itch in my eye at the moment. Do you want me to have a look? Yeah. Oh, yes, that old chestnut. Mm, yeah, it looks a bit red. <laughs> that seems like it was a trick. It wasn't. I don't know how it works, that's why I didn't do it. It doesn't it works, and they usually go in for the kiss as well. Oh, I so, see, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> a bit early, but, yeah? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> nice try, though. Yeah. Are you ready for some dessert? Uh, yeah, I've got enough okay. for it, yeah, thanks. All right. <laughs> I hope he's got a sweet tooth or a um, doggy bag. There's three puds to get through. First up, that dreaded peanut butter chocolate fondant. Is it good? Mmm, it's quite peanut buttery. <laughs> um, yeah, do you know no, what? you yeah. don't like it. <laughs> Milo's on standby. <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some no. more. Not unlucky pooch. So how long have you been single for? Around three years. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's quite long. So how long have you been single then? Mm, about a year and a half. Okay, so that's... Yeah, but that is the longest I've ever been single for. Are you still enjoying it or you had enough or...? Um, no, I'm still okay. Like, I'm not in a rush. Like, I think if I meet the right person, then, you know... I do think that people now are so, like, a bit shallow as well because of the apps. You know, it's like everyone just kind of uh, basing you, like, on looks. You know, it's great if you're good looking, but what about those people that are not, you know? Did you point at me then? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Joe. If you swipe left, there's another dessert. Shall we try this one? Yeah, let's go for it. It might be. I like how my spring is so much bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> you're very optimistic that mouthful. She's a keeper. This is the best dessert. You did well there. Imagine <laughs> you just went for the peanut butter fondant. Mm, that's that was what it. I was going to go for. Yeah, you would have been gone. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could eat any more. That's all right. You know, I can't eat any more either. Um, <laughs> also, my cheeks are hurting from yeah. laughing too much. Thanks for tonight. It's been lovely. The food's been amazing. I, I might have to walk home, I think. I don't know. <laughs> so, right. With all that food left, someone will be happy to see Joe go. But looks like he's escaping with the goodies. Okay, so thanks again. Yeah. Thanks nice a lot. to meet you. Bye. Thank you. This really nice girl really got on with her. The food was just something else. The dessert was so good that I actually managed to get some away. I don't know how I managed to get a doggy bag. I definitely warmed up to him. Um, I think he was quite open with me, um, and we just had a great time. So how did Ala rate her date? I'll probably give it three stars, yeah. I'll be nice. <laughs> so that's three stars for Joe from Alla. Joe loved the menu and left the date with seconds and a warm glow. He got three stars from Alla, but will he end up going the extra mile low? 
next day, and it's Joe's third and final date with fashion journalism student Mimi. I have met a few guys in the past one year, but I don't really like them. They're not really my type. Maybe Joe can break the mold. What's the brief? He has to be intelligent, be able to like have a good conversation. Good looking for sure. <laughs> be able to cook, because I don't want to be cooking every day. I'd get on with tonight's face though. When he saw Mimi's menu, Joe thought her dumplings sounded amazing, but wasn't sure if her buns would be the most fun he'd ever had with his clothes on. So will they dump each other after just one date? Or will tonight lead to some naked attraction? Mimi gets started on dessert, her chocolate pots. I am looking forward to tonight for someone to see how I cook, <laughs> eat my food. <laughs> well, that's the idea. She heats cream in a pan, then adds chocolate drops. It's looking good. It's the first time I'm making dessert, actually. I cook, but I can't make dessert too well. So if the guy doesn't like my dessert, then I can maybe offer him to buy him a cake. There's no time for shopping on a blind date. She then adds egg yolks and spoons in dark rum. Dark rum makes the dessert more tastier. Alcohol makes everything tastier. <laughs> How many spoons has she add? A knob of butter is added to a boozy chocolate goo, and it's ready to be poured into glasses. She tops with cream, and they're left to set in the fridge. Straight onto a Nepalese Momo. That's minced pork dumplings to you and me. While chopping red onions, how's Mimi feeling about tonight? Dating is easy. People who you're dating are hard. <laughs> I hope tonight's date doesn't turn out to be my first dating disaster. <laughs> Joe's open to most things, so fingers crossed. She mixes her onions with ground pork, salt, spring onions, ginger, and finally cumin powder. Smelling good? She gives her pork the thumbs up, so it's popped in the fridge and Mimi's momos will be fried later when her date arrives. She then blends tomatoes and sesame seeds, making the dip for her dumplings. Next up, the writer for the main course. She chops cucumber and simply mixes with yoghurt. And then for the burgers, uh, she starts by crushing crackers in a bowl. I don't really know why I mix crackers with the beef, but maybe just for the taste. Well, this is taking more energy than I thought it would. <laughs> Seriously, this is tiring. If Joe thinks this meal is crackers, what's the backup plan? I don't have any flirting techniques. Maybe just charmed by my smile. <laughs> OK, let's hope the food's good then. To her crushed crackers, she adds chopped parsley, some ground beef, an egg to bind, salt, and it's ready to shape into patties. I hope they don't break and fall apart when I'm frying them, you know, because I just used one egg. That's what I usually use, but I hope they stick together well. The burger patties are put in the fridge and will be cooked later. And that's the prep complete. I just need to lay the table and get myself ready. Better get a shake on. Joe will be here in a mo, mo, and he's ready to eat. I'm hoping we can get some good food. I'm really hungry again tonight. Um, it's been a long day, so I'm looking forward to to seeing who's behind the door tonight. I don't know what kind of guy might walk through that door. I'm really excited in a way. A bit nervous as well, so let's see how it goes. Hello, Hello. how's it going all right? Joe. Yeah, how are you? Nice to meet you, good. I'm all right, Hi. I'm Mimi. Hi Mimi, it's Joe. All right, all right. how's it going? Please come in. Thank you. It's up to Joe to pop his cork and get his final date underway. Cheers. So what do you do? Um, I'm doing my master's in fashion journalism from UAL as of now, but I also do freelance writing and I write a lot of sonnets and I read a lot of poetry. Am I going to be able to hear any of it? Maybe then? not tonight. <laughs> oh, not tonight. No. <laughs> OK, fair enough. Is there any hobbies? So I, I actually am trying to write stand-up at the moment. I don't particularly think I'm funny. It's just I like the idea of being able to go out of my comfort zone and hopefully one day get up on stage and perform it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we're a long way off that yet. So you won't be hearing any jokes here. <laughs> you you okay. don't have to do that tonight. <laughs> That's good. It would be nice if I hear some, though. I might do that if, you, if I hear one of your sonnets. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get started with the starters? Absolutely, yeah, I'm starving. You... 
As Mimi gets on with her starter, does Joe think this could be the mo moment he finds love? I think she might seem a little shy. Um, I'm just trying to open up some conversation and just see where it goes. He seems to be a sweet guy, and he looks very humble and polite. I think it's going to be a good night. Well, let's see if Mimi can impress Joe with her dumplings first. Nepalese Momo with sesame dip are served. Mm. These might be the best dumplings I've had. Crikey, you go, girl! And the sesame dip as well, it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So you've been cooking these sort of like all your life? Or? Yeah, I have been cooking this with my grandparents, my grandma, because this is like, we eat a lot of momos back home. Mm. How long have you lived in the UK then? Have you lived here for a long time or...? I grew up in a British convent in a hill station in India for 16 years. Wow, OK. <laughs> yeah. So... I moved to UK last year in September. Oh, only last year? Yeah, <laughs> but my parents are in Burma. I haven't seen my dad for the past two years, actually, but we talk almost, like, every day. I share everything with my dad. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so... So he'll know that you're you're having this date tonight and he'll know... If it goes well, then yes. If it doesn't, then it will be buried in the backyard with all the rest of the things. OK, you know? right. <laughs> Better start laughing at her jokes, Joe, just to be safe. Time for the main. Mimi pan fries the burgers whilst warming the paneer cheese and serves in a brioche bun with chips. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> There might be some silences now for, for, for us. For a while, please yeah. don't mind. It's not going to be awkward. The night is young. Quick, remember Mimi's menu jokes, Jojo! Mmm, that's so good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably the most fun you can have without taking your clothes off, you're right, you've got that. Mm. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Phew! When you go on a holiday, do you like more of the beach holiday or do you prefer an adventure? I prefer more of a beach because adventure counts into hiking. Mm -hmm. And I'm not much of a hiker. No. <laughs> yeah, so I would love to go to Jamaica. The people, the food, I love Jamaican reggae music. Dad grew up in Notting Hill, and back then there was like, loads of that music around, so maybe Jamaica's on my list too. You never know, <laughs> we can, might go there one day, who yeah. knows? <laughs> That's unless you're six feet under out the back. So would you like some dessert now? Yeah, I've left some room for dessert. <laughs> There's always room for dessert, right? Thank you. <laughs> Time for the final course of the evening, as the chocolate pots are ready. I love you. This is going to be nice, isn't it? I hope they are. <laughs> so is it chocolate pots? Yes. I can, I can feel it already, it's going to be good. How is it? Yeah, I mean, that's what I like. So what do you look forward in a partner? I look for someone who can make me laugh. Laughter is really important for me. Yeah, and it's not like you have to be the funniest person in the world, or it's just yeah. someone you can... It sounds cheesy, but it's someone you can go home from work and you're happy to see them and, and you can have a good time. Apart from that, I'm not really fussy. <laughs> I would really like to know why you picked my menu. Well, firstly, the momos. I'd had dumplings, but I've not had Nepalese momos. So was it worth it? Of course. Burgers you can't go wrong and chocolate you can't go wrong. So I'm glad you didn't go wrong. It's good. Thank you. Looks like Mimi's made all the right moves and Joe's avoided being worm food. So come on, off your pot. Thanks for tonight. Yeah, I had a really good time. You too. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good Have evening. Have a good right. evening. Thank See you, you again. Bye. Bye. So what did Joe think of his third and final date? It's one of the more unusual dates I've been on. The food was amazing, though. I did have a lot of fun, and she's actually a really sweet girl. He was, like, really humorous, and he really made me laugh, and we had a good conversation. So how will Mimi rate her date? He's not the ideal guy that I really go for every time. So according to that, I would give him two stars. So that's two stars for Joe from Mimi. Joe thought the date was fun and hadn't tasted a better Momo. But was he just saying that to avoid getting buried under the patio? The dinners have been eaten and the dates are done and dusted. Now it's time for Joe to decide which one of our tempting trio he wants to see again. Who will he be taking out for a romantic meal? And who will be eating in alone? Joe's three dinner dates are all getting scrubbed up and ready to go, but only one of them will have romance knock on their door. I'm not feeling very nervous, but I am feeling quite hungry. <laughs> when I hear the knock on the door tonight, I hope Joe will be there. Um, yeah, it would be great to kind of go on another date and see, you know, how things go. If he's outside that door, we go and have a good meal. 
If he is not, then I'll take myself and have a good meal. <laughs> Joe's on his way to take one girl out for a meal they haven't had to cook. The other two will be eating in alone. Oh, look at that. Roasted vegetable lasagna, that's not too bad. <laughs> Hope it's frozen yogurt. Oh, Paella. Never mind. <laughs> that leaves one woman. Hello, Ella. How's it going? You're right. I'm right. How are you? Good to see you. Oh. These are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do right. you uh, like to go on a date? Yeah. Joe and Ella are off for a candlelit dinner. Did you expect I was going to pick you, David? No, well, I, I, I thought we had, like, connection, um, so I was hoping you would. My dessert stayed on your mind, so, for a while. Yeah. Well, that's it. If you take it home, it's, like, it's hard not to remember that, isn't it? <laughs> Romance might be on the menu for Joe and Alla, but for Annie and Mimi, it's a night in and a ready meal for one. I hope that he has a lovely time with whoever he did choose. I will never serve a three-course meal to a man ever again. He wasn't the kind of guy I would really go for, and it's not too fair for both of us, so I think it's fine. I'm cool with it. Um, I think we had good connection and a chemistry, so we'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> How's the start? Is it tasting good? Yeah, it's really nice, yeah. As good as your starter? <laughs> You're going to have to tell me that. <laughs> the conversation's flowing really well again, and, um, yeah, things are looking good. <laughs> no, it's good, though, isn't it? It's definitely nice to see each other again. Um, I was pleased to see his face when he opened the door, so it was a good surprise. I'm happy to see Ella again. I hope she's happy to see me too. 